Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, May 12, 1862, the Union gunboat USS Yerkoy demanded the surrender of the city of Natchez. Union Commander James S. Palmer sent the following communication to Natchez Mayor John Hunter. Sir, in advance of the squadron now coming up the Mississippi, I am instructed by the flag officer to demand the surrender of the city of Natchez to the naval forces of the United States. Palmer assured Hunter that the same terms of surrender accorded New Orleans and Baton Rouge would be offered to Natchez. The rights and properties of all peaceable citizens would be respected, but all property belonging to the so-called Confederate States must be delivered up, and the flag of the United States must be waved unmolested over the town. Mayor Hunter replied that as Natchez was an unfortified city and entirely defenseless people have no alternative but to yield to an irresistible force, it is useless to imperil innocent blood. Hunter assured Palmer that there would be no opposition to the Union possession of the city, but he couldn't guarantee that the U.S. flag would wave unmolested in the sight of an excited people. The mayor went on to report that that he and the city council were unaware of any Confederate property within the city limits of Natchez. My name is Emily Williams. I'm a junior at Adams County Christian School and this has been your Natchez History Minute.